Well, sexual assault, it's a growing concern for women serving in the military. And joining us now to talk about efforts to stop those attacks, we have Congresswoman Lois Frankel and former Coast Guard recruit Alicia Morrow. Now, Representative Frankel, I'm going to start with you. How big of a problem is sexual assault when we're talking about the military? Well, it's frightening. It's shocking. Because uh, these are people who are protecting us. Right. We really need to protect them. Well, it's estimated over 25,000 a year. And it's a huge number. Huge number. Only maybe 10 to 20 percent even get reported. And uh, it's not surprising because most of the people in the military are men. Half are men. Half are obviously are, are women. Uh, so uh, Alicia came to my office with a story. She can tell you that story. Yeah, Alicia, what is that story? Well, in 2009, I went to Cape May, New Jersey, to the Coast Guard uh, recruiting, to, to the Coast Guard base to go to basic training. Um, while there, myself and several comrades were sexually harassed throughout training, and then um, we ended up making a report to a military um, prosecutor, and in the uh, investigation that followed, it was determined that not only had we been harassed, but a fellow recruit had also been sexually assaulted by our company commander. And not much happened after that finding came out, right? Explain that. Well, we did go through the um, process of taking him to court, went through the judicial process. However, he ended up being tried on, I believe it was adultery charges and maltreatment charges instead of the sexual assault. It's, Much lesser charges. It's really an insult to call a sexual assault adultery. So. And why do you feel like this is so underreported? Well, I think part of it is military culture. You know, you see a lot of people that don't want to come forward in military culture because it is very stigmatized. I think that has a lot to do with it. And I do think that, you know, if you see in our case, there was such a lack of justice, it almost feels like, what's the point? There are repercussions there, and it's going to really not accomplish anything to come forward. So but I think you have decided to come forward, tell absolutely. your story, do some good. Congressman Lois Frankel, where do you come in in this in order to help uh, get this into law? What did you guys do? Well, first, just I, just want to, I just want to say this. This is a very, very brave young woman, really, coming, coming yeah. forward. Uh, I took her story to Congress, and now it's been about four years. It takes time, but we, we were able to, uh, year one, uh, get a provision in law that required the military to look at the issue. And finally, this year, uh, in, the, in the latest uh, bill that we passed authorizing the defense spending, there is now a complete prohibition from recruiters or trainers of military, of the trainees, of the recruitees from having any sexual activity uh, with those people. Uh, it, had this law been in place back then, we probably wouldn't be standing here now. So, you know, really hats off to Alicia for being and so the people brave. that came forward. What will this yeah. mean now for women in the military moving forward? How does this change uh, their experience? Well, there's not only, as I said, not only women, but men. Yeah. I mean, because ha half the ass assaultees are, are, are men. I, I brought this with me today from the mm -hmm. Veterans Administration. What is that? This sexual assault has become so prevalent that there's actually, they have a new term called military sexual assault, uh, military sexual trauma that they actually deal with now at, at the VAs. Uh, listen, what this is going to mean is uh, this law and also this much better awareness is going to mean much safer conditions for people. But what more to, needs to be done? Well, I think we, I'm going to let you speak, Alicia. Alicia, she, what else would she's, you she's like got, to see She's done. still on a mission. Well, this covers recruits, it covers people in a training setting, but what it doesn't cover is all of the rest of the military. Um, if you look, you know, once you're into the fleet or once you're into, you know, active duty, you're still going to have instances of having those in authority over you. And so while this is great, we're thrilled that this was passed, it still doesn't cover the vast majority of military members. So that's where, that's the next step that we're looking at. And that's the message this. that you want to get out. You want sure. more people right. to be able to feel comfortable to come forward absolutely. when they're through these sort of horrific crimes. Well, absolutely. Congresswoman Alicia, thank you for being here. Thank, thank you. you so much. I appreciate you telling your story. Thank you. We'll send